Welcome back to my virtual over the road trucking adventure in Oklahoma. We are in Enid, Oklahoma, where we last left off. And I did drive over here to the truck stop on the east side of town. Now we're headed back into town. And we're going to pick up a load at the Wasatch Railroad Construction Place. I didn't know it was called all that. But anyway, Wasatch. This place over here on the right is where we just delivered in the last video. So, for reference, that's where we were last when we left off. So we're going to drive through town. Let me show you what that looks like. Um, actually, the route, the uh, routing actually took us this away. But I decided to take a trip through town so we can get all the lights. I mean, highlights. We have the right of way here. It's almost like we're just exploring Enid, which we kind of are, because we didn't come downtown before, and now we are. I did get to the intersection first. That's why I went. What do we got? International dealer. And we don't need any repairs, so we don't need to stop there. lights.
I almost booked the load out of that place. Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, well, we'll go through here then. Hey, that was weird. We needed to go left at that intersection. Apparently. <laughs> I'm so confused. Need to go that way. Why couldn't it just go straight through? All right, there's our pickup. This is the world of trucks load, so we just go straight to the trailer. Oh, we're picking up a road roller. Let me pull out here. Look at the map. We are going to Oklahoma City to the Sherwood facility. Distance of 92 miles, not very far. So here's a thing. See how it says go up, turn left, right from where we are, and then turn left on the street, then double back? Yeah, I ain't doing it. Because it's really hard to make that turn. I'll have to run over the curb like I just did. So I'm going to go down here to the end. And turn left. And then it will be easier. And I will uncover more roadway. While not running over curbs like that island there. This isn't very heavy. It's less than 20,000 pounds.
So it's even lighter than our last load of pallets. Oh, I guess I should have beacons on if I have an oversized load, but I don't have beacons. Maybe I should have got some. But I don't see how it's oversized. It doesn't stick out on either side. Remember the last video I was complaining about all the traffic lights? <laughs> yeah, we're still dealing with that. Oop, forgot to reset my trip meter. I mean, I know we're not going very far, but I'd like to at least keep an eye on my fuel economy.
Thought about stopping at that shop back there and getting beacons installed. But we're not really oversized. Well, it seems like we just barely made it through that before it turned red. All right, we are coming up on the interstate, Interstate 35 that runs north-south. North to Wichita, south to Oklahoma City, which is our destination. And off we go. No more red lights until we get to Oklahoma City. I was just checking to see if my beacons switch would turn on some light on the back of the trailer, but it does not. Oh well. Lost a little bit of momentum because of that guy. Made me slow down. Oops, that's not the way we want to go. Is it? It was. <laughs> Oops. Because we want to stay on, I thought, I-40, but we, yeah, that was our exit. Rookie move. Not a Swifty, just a rookie move. been this way a hundred times.
Oh, it's going to want us to go down. Let's look at the map. Look at the map. Down here, double back. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. Sort of. Do this, though. What is it? 37 miles overall. This will be 25 miles. Yeah, I'll stay on the freeway. Oops, get that off. Haven't explored any of that yet, so we'll just go the route that they say. So that means I got to get over to take 35 south. This is what happens when you miss your turn. Now, you've seen some, probably have seen some of the stuff on bonehead truckers when people drivers miss their turns and so they try to turn around on the interstate. That's how they end up on bonehead truckers. What I'm doing here is just resolving the issue of not paying attention to the way I needed to go without ending up on bonehead truckers. No accident. No getting stuck on the median. Just taking an alternate route. It's embarrassing enough to do this. You don't need to end up stuck across the comedian or having an accident. It's just like if you're driving in your car and you miss your exit. You don't pull over and back up. That's a good way to get dead. If you're lucky, you only get a ticket. You just push on, find a way to turn around, and come back. You know, for some reason, this load feels heavier than it is. Truck feels a little sluggish. But I've got a powerful motor in here. I think it's like 570 horsepower. It was a 510, but I upgraded it. Nelly. The name of this place is Sherwood Construction that we're going to. 
That would make sense for a road roller. If they do road, well, paving of any kind. You know, I'm looking at the mini map over there on the right for my GPS. And if you turn left here, like those folks, you can go down and there's two shippers. There's a waste management and Western Metals. I don't believe I've been to either of those places in any of my profiles. I don't remember there being a blue beacon down here before. Seems like a strange place to have one. And as far as I know, in real life, there's a blue beacon at that truck stop that we passed. All right, where are we going? Dead ahead, whoa. Stuff all just magically appeared. Okay, we'll get ourselves turned around and back into this spot. close are we? Too close. Let's see if we can still cut it. Just barely.
did I just hit? Excellent. We're all good here. All right, what I want to do, let's, we didn't drive that far today. We'll just come up here to the uh, truck stop and check out that viewpoint up there before we wrap up the video today. Ah. like he's just driving around the block because he went that same way when we were coming down here oh then we got this Is this a hidden road or just well it's open to us it's just not on the map More red lights. Wonder what he was waiting on.
we don't need fuel we're just gonna hop in and check out that viewpoint which I believe is right over here is up hey Oklahoma City Muck and hot Texas. It'd be Texas Roadhouse. There's that artwork. Well, that's going to do it for this adventure. So if you haven't already, please give it a thumbs, this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future notifications of videos like this one. Thanks for uh, riding along today. We'll see you again soon.